when the narcissist realizes they have lost you. You may have been the narcissist's grade A source of supply. But before the narcissist even got involved with you, they saw you as something temporary. Because they know that every supply has an expiry date. So there's no such thing as a real relationship with a narcissist. It's a transaction. Because it's undefined and uncommitted. It's based on convenience and short-term circumstances. But they act like you're going to be there forever. They love bomb you. They devalue you. They abuse you. They take you for granted. They do all of these things to you. And it leaves you feeling like they hate you. Because they treat you like you are unworthy of their consideration and respect. Like you are the worst person in the world. But it has nothing to do with you. So do not identify with it. Because the narcissist does this to everyone they encounter. This is how they were raised to be. But when they realize they have lost you, it is a very difficult experience for them. So they will be stalking and harassing you. They will get their fly monkeys involved. They will send you gifts. They will do anything to get you back. Because they are very foolish. They are very stupid. They lack the ability to predict what will happen in the future. They don't see that there could be consequences and effects of their actions and decisions because they're just going through the motions. They do this to everyone. And they're so used to discarding people and moving on to the next person and not thinking anything of it. But you are different. You're better than what they used to. You weren't just passing time in a leisurely manner. You weren't acting up or causing trouble. You were doing what needed to be done. You took good care of them. You took care of their family. Everyone benefited from you. And that is not something that they can easily forget. It's memorable. It's very important to them. You may see these orchestrations of their new supply on their social media, but that's just to conceal their misery and pain. They will flaunt their new supply. They will share boastful statements and displays, but they're just lying to themselves. They know they're not happy. That's why they need so many people, money and possessions to cover it up. But it will never be enough for them. Because they lost you. They lost a real one. They lost a person who wouldn't have turned on them. A person who always had their back no matter what. So how can they be happy? You may not see it. But behind the scenes, the narcissist is voicing their harsh thoughts, criticisms and insults. They're tearing people down. Because they lost you. They lost the real one. 
you were their source of security and stability. When they weren't happy, you made everything all right. Remember when you first met them? Their lives were in shambles. They had all of these problems. They weren't happy. And they told you about it. They told you their ex was crazy. They told you about all of these problems they had with their family. They told you that you made their life better. You saved them. And they weren't lying about that. That was the truth. Because you were there for them. You had their back. And when they foolishly lose someone like you, they suffer. They suffer so bad that their family may even contact you. Their family may try to help you work things out because the narcissist is enduring severe mental suffering. They're losing their minds and they're taking it out on their family because you're not there anymore and you kept them sane. They didn't want you to know that because they used it to control you. They used it to keep you putting out without questioning their motives. But the truth is you actually made them happy. You upgraded their life. So when they lose you, it will drive them insane. They will hoover you. Because they can't be alone after they have lost you. It leaves them to think about how good of a supply you were for them. Which is why they will start a smear campaign against you. They have to do something. They have to act on these thoughts that are eating away at them. But when you move on and you become successful without them, it destroys their smear campaign. They end up looking like a fool. But this is just what happens when the narcissist loses you, when they lose a real one but they will still try to act like they're happy. They will post pictures on social media. But how can they be happy when they've lost you? They're just using it to distract themselves. They're using it to get other people to validate their false narrative, to make it more believable for themselves, so that they can further detach from reality and exist in this fantasy world where everything's just fine and dandy. But it's just an act. It's just an illusion. They're still going through it. While they were with you, they may have acted like they didn't see it but they felt your kindness. They felt your love and passion. And now they've lost that. So how can they be okay? But this is the narcissist karma because you were on their side. You were there for them. They can't just lose all of that and be okay with it. Of course they're going to go insane. Of course they're going to lose their minds because they've lost you. That's why they're so mad. Because they want you. But they can't have you. That's why they're doing all of these crazy things. 
That's why they're trying to tear you down. That's why they're trying to make your life hell. Because they want you, but they can't have you. And if they can't have you, they don't want anyone to have you. They don't want you to be good for anyone after they're gone. But they will act like they're happy without you. They will get married. They will have children. But it's all a facade. It's just something they're using to cover up how sad they are after losing you. They can't enjoy anything that they have. They can only miss it once they've lost it. They can't enjoy anything because they're broken people. And if you go back to them, they will break you too. But if you don't go back, they will still be thinking about you. They will be going through it. They will be thinking about how good of a supply you were for them. They may not realize that you were a real one, but they know the difference. They know when something was good for them. And that is why they get so mad. That is why they play these games. Because at some level, they know that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.